Hi, lovely people. If you want to know how I made this short dress with a belt or band on the waist and a stylish sleeve, just sit back as I take you through this process. Mine, I added a little twist to it by making it have a collar. So just sit back and enjoy this tutorial. <laughs> to achieve that style you just saw on my thumbnail i'll be working with this crepe material it's a light crepe material and i'm going to be making use of four two yards sorry i've already folded my material into two if you're on the bigger size because i am of a medium size also i think if you're on the bigger size you can make use of two and a half yards to three yards if you're on the smaller side one yard will be okay and enough for you so but mine i also needed it to have a pocket but because the material was not enough so i didn't make use of that so if you have want to have a pocket you can add you can go ahead and buy like two and a half yards or so i've taken my borderline on that then to determine our working piece i had to divide my boss point which is my lazard part into four and then added some inches to accommodate the allowances that i'll be making use of so from the borderline i'm taking my boss point which is at 13 then my waistline at um, um 20 then my hip line at 29 and then the full length the full length of my gown is 40 inches and i added two extra inches for hemming so that is what i have done here i'll be using my ruler to make a line please if you're seeing this channel for the first time kindly do me a favor by subscribing to this channel and also like the video if the video is of a benefit to you share to your friends that it will be of a benefit to as well thank you so much and to all our returning subscribers i love you so much you guys are amazing you're not taken for granted after i'm done with the line i went ahead to take my shoulder to shoulder measurement which is 18 divided by 2 will give me 9 inches so i marked it there and because this is a, a little put together sleeve so part of our sleeve will be entering the shoulder so my sleeve the the short sleeve my normal sleeve is nine inches so i'll be taking out four inches from the my normal sleeve and i will add it to the shoulder so i'll just extend that then i'll take my shoulder slope by going down from the shoulder by one inch this is a bit of um, a high neck or a shirt like um, neck so i'll be taking my neck width at three inches and then the neck depth at one inches mind you this is the back we are cutting after cutting the back we are going to use it and cut the front so i have connected my neck width and neck depth so i will now take my shoulder slope i'll connect my neck width to my shoulder slope So once I'm done with this, I'm going to determine how wide I want the opening of my sleeve to be. Normally, my round sleeve is 15 inches. So I'll just go ahead and add um, that is supposed to be 7.5. So I marked 9 inch, 8 inches there. Sorry. So I added like half inch. So on the boss point, I'm taking my boss circumference measurement which is 44 divided by 4 will give me 11 inches i went ahead and marked that and i added two and a half inches that's one inch one and a half inch for ease and then one inch for sewing so what i'll be doing right now is that i want my neck i want my my boss point to be less than the um sleeve by half an inch so what i'll be do now is that on the sleeve area on the open sleeve area i'm going to be going out by half an inch that is what i'm doing so i'll go ahead and connect my 
sleeve from the shoulder slope to the sleeve to the arm or the sleeve the way you see me do right now then i will give my sleeve a small curve to join the bust point so on the waistline i'm going to be taking my waist second first which is 39 divided by 4 will give me 9.75 i'll mark it at that and then add my two because this will be having a belt at the waist area i'm going to take exactly what i have on my bust point i'm going to mark it on the waist line so i'm going to go ahead and mark it there i'm going to go ahead and mark exactly what i have on my bust point on my waistline then on the hip line i am going to go ahead and mark my hip circumference which is 45 divided by 4 will give me 11.725 i'll mark it there then I will put, I put my extra 2.5 inches. If paraventure your waist, your hip is bigger, is the bigger size of your body, you take your normal hip measurement. But because my hip measurement and my bust point is almost the same thing, I will just go ahead and rule a straight line from my bust point down to the full length of my dress down to the full length of my dress it might look shapeless anyway but by the time we finish working on it and by the time we put our belt or our band at the waistline it's going to take shape it's going to have shape so this is all for the back i'm going to go ahead and cut it out right now just watch me as i do this once i'm done with this we'll head over to cut out the front part of the dress so what i'll be doing next is just to take the pack and lay it on the front work piece but before i do that i'm going to be taking out two and a half inches from the open area two and a half inches so this that is two and a half inches i went out with that is for the shed line here opening in front is two and a half inches so i'll just go ahead and trim the side to make it even the uneven side i've trimmed this off so what i'll be doing next is to trace out the back on the front workpiece then after i'm done with that i'm going to go ahead and cut out my neck width and neck depth for the front the neck width for the front is the same three inches but the neck depth itself is three inches mind you the back is one inch the depth is depth is one inch so i'm going to go ahead and mark it at that then we'll go ahead and cut it out so once i'm done joining that the next thing we'll be going ahead to is to work on the front piece hey i don't know why this video went blocked like this or oh, i'll have to go ahead so what we'll be doing now is that on the front part of the dress, I'm going to be marking out my two and a half inches. The two and a half inches I left for the button. For the button. So I'm going to mark it out. Once I mark it out, I will take it to my ironing table and I will fold it in. I'll just fold it in to meet the two and a half inches mark that I made. I'll fold it in to join to meet the two and a half inches mark that I made. Once I'm done folding it in, I'm going to bring it so that we'll see. Have it. I had to put an interface, a paper stick, to make it easy to work with. down the boot um, front piece i'm going to yeah. I'm pinning down
this man will be area The height is 0.5 inches wide. That's the length is 80 inches. And half an inch. So when I am done joining the boot end by half an inch, seven inches. So I am done joining the back, the side. So I'll go ahead. neck so i'll go ahead and hold it down then i'll take the other end and make sure it's aligned with the other end the other open end of the front fabric and i will pin it down mark you i opened it up i am not joining the the two colors same i'm going to first of all hold one end of the collar and then I will attach it to the dress. Then I will use the other end to close it up. I will use the other end to close it up. That is the way we normally fix our collar. So once I've done pinning it down, I'm taking it to the machine, stitch is half an inch. Use half an inch to join it. Then I will turn it the way you're seeing me do right now. Then I will fold it in. I use the other end to cover up the stitches. That will make it very neat. So here we have it. I am done with that. I am done joining the collar. Look at how it is looking. So the next thing we'll be doing now is to work on the sleeve. For the sleeve, we know we have already taken out 4 inches from the 9 inches for my short sleeve. The short sleeve I'm working on is 9 inches. So I'll go ahead and take my round um, sleeve measurement, which is um, 15. I'll mark it there and then put add one inches for joining so the height of the sleeve is six inches i will use half inch to turn it to hem it then the five inches will make up for the nine inches which we have already taken out nine four inches to join the shoulder so i'm going to rule a line at the, the, the uh, at that point i have identified then i'll use my scissors to cut out the excess that we have so here we have it i'm already done cutting out the base this is the base this is the base i'll be working on for the ruffles on the shoulder for the ruffles on the sleeve sorry we'll go ahead and also cut that out so what i'll do is that since my round sleeve is a uh, 15 inches i will be making these ruffles um 22 inches that's extra seven inches i added extra seven inches to it i don't want it to be too full so what i'll do is i will go ahead and take out the rough part of that end so the height of the ruffles i want to use is three inches so i'll just go ahead and mark three inches the way you're seeing me do the way you're seeing me do that's three inches for the width and the length i want to use is 22 inches so i've gone ahead to cut it out and on the base that is the base i have two pieces so what i'll be doing right now is to go ahead on the machine hem one part of the ruffles then and do a gather stitch on one the other parts of it so on the part of the base for the sleeve i'm going to go ahead and turn it the double double turn i'm going to turn it twice and then stitch on it after i am done stitching on it then i'll bring it and show us the next step like i said to you on the ruffles i'll be turning it turning it a little i'll hem it a little and then do a gather stitch on one end so once i'm done with that i'll bring it so that we'll see 
all right i'm done hemming the down part of the our bees so what i will do now is to gather the ruffles i've done gathering it i just gathered it slightly i said i don't want it to have much gathering so i've gathered it slightly so what i will do now is that i will take the first of them and then attach it the way you have seen me do without leaving any allowance i attached it directly on the base and the beginning part of the base so the other two since we have the height of our base is five inches i'm going to be attaching one on 2.5 inches so i will just go ahead and turn it the way you see me do i'll attach it on 2.5 i'll come down by 2.5 inches and attach it on the line so once I, i'm done attaching it i will turn it and the other one too i'm going to be attaching it one inch away from the hemming part so i am done attaching it and look at the way it is looking so we'll go ahead right now and join it and attach it to the dress itself attach it to the dress itself on the shoulder so i've gone ahead to use my pin to hold it down so i'll be go heading over to the machine to attach it by half an inch I attach that by half an inch and attach it by half an inch so i am done attaching it that is what we we'll have over there so the next thing now is to flip join the front side and the back side then after making sure that the two sides are aligned together i'll take it to the machine and then join it by one inch which is the allowance we give for the joining i'm going to go ahead and join it by half by one inch not half inch on both sides from starting from the sleeve down to the hem into the full length so i'm going to go to the machine and do that and bring it so that we'll see all right i'm done joining that i'm done joining that so look at i'm going to turn it to the right side right now and let's see what we have done so here here is what we have so the next thing that we'll be doing right now is that i'll be i'll on the front that this is the right side i'm going to be identifying my waistline i'm going to identify my waistline then from the shoulder to the waistline is 12 20 inches like i told you i'm going to be making a line there 20 inches like i told you so from the shoulder to the waist i'll make 20 inches line then i'll connect it the way you see me do on the other side i'll also mark it 20 inches and i'll connect it right to the back side so don't bother because we'll be using it, something like a band to cover it up i've gone ahead to make something like a bias but this one is one inches wide one inch wide so i'll be heading over to the machine to attach it i've closed the ends so what i'll be doing is that from the place where as in from the button hold area i'm going to place it the way you see me do one inch away from the center front one inch away from the center front i'm going to use this to cover the line i've made i will sew on both sides i will sew on both sides and i'll take it round to the other center front so i'm going to sew on both sides so i am done sewing in the hole i would like to say a hole for the band or i'm done just stitching it in so the next thing i'll be doing right now is to join the front is to join the front you know on that term but in hold area the front area was joined from the shoe from the waist line down to the hem line so what i'll be doing is that i'll be i'll use my tape and measure i'll use my tape and measure seven inches upwards from the hem line seven inches upwards from the hem line that's where I want my opening to start. That's where I want my openings to start. So I'm going to mark seven inches. Like you see me do it like right now. And I'm going to mark seven inches. And directly on the waist, I'm going to mark 
take a chop. So I'll just sew from there down and then sew the other end down. That on those two sides and then stop at the seven inches I identified down. Then that's what I'll be doing on my machine. I'll bring it to you see. So I am done joining it right now. And I've also done I'm also done hemming the down part of this dress. So that is the rope I made that will pass through the casing we made on the waist. It is 63 inches long. It is 63 inches long. Depending on you, you can make your own more than that or shorter than that. Depending on how wide or how narrow the waist is. So I'm going to be passing that through the casing that we created on the waistline. The way you see me do right now with my safety pin. And I am done with that. So what I will just do right now is to tie the boot end of the rope neatly to secure the end. So once I tie the boot end of the rope neatly, the next thing we'll be doing is to attach our press button. You can decide to use a normal button and create a button hole for it. But I decided to use a normal button for this, a press button for it, not a normal button. But if you so wish, you can use a normal button. It is okay. So I'm going to be making use of five press button, and I'm going to use my hand needle to attach it to the dress. I'm going to use my. I do not use any specific measurement to separate the button i just used my discretion you can go ahead and use measurements on your own or use your discretion so once i'm done with that that will be all for this with this we have come to the end of the tutorials i hope you enjoyed it look at the dress on the mannequin please if you're coming across my channel for the first time please do not forget to subscribe to our page put on your notification bell to always get notified whenever i post a new video if this video is helpful to you, do not forget to hit on the like button. I also leave a comment at the comment section. Thank you so much, my dear people. Thank you so much, my lovely people. You are so amazing and you are well loved. I cherish you all. See you in my next video. Do not forget to hit on that like button. Hit on it right now. Thank you.